Hi, my name is Daniel Miller and I've been going to The Way for about eight months. A while back, my own family member betrayed me and I found out later that a whole bunch of funds, thousands of dollars were used under my name and I was left with just trying to figure out what to do. Um, I looked at my credit, it was destroyed, it was to 500. I talked to people that were Christian and I talked to people that were not Christian. Even the Christians were telling me, you need to send this person to jail. That's the only way they're gonna learn. Well, I asked my grandma, I said, Grandma, what should I do about this? Grandma says, you need to forgive. And I said, Grandma, like, how will he learn if uh, we just forgive and let it go? Well, for over six months, I wrestled with it. I had nightmares, I struggled. I even had dreams of me physically trying to correct the issue myself with my flesh. And my flesh was really weak. I allowed unforgiveness to take root in my heart. And even though I love God, that bitter root just corrupted my mind and my, my, my sleep. And so I had to make a decision. And when Thanksgiving came around, I sat in front of my brother and I told him, um, I need to tell you something. And he says, what? And I said, I need to tell you I forgive you. I've been holding it in him for a long time. And he says, why, how? I can't even forgive myself. And I said, I know. Neither am I worthy to be forgiven by Jesus, but Jesus still forgives me. And so he began to cry, it was a renewing process, and I just forgave my brother. I gave it up, I, gave, I surrendered it to God, not knowing what was gonna happen. The debt was still there, the burden was heavy. Well, it was not until 4th of July came, we were out with my mom, my wife, and we wanted to go to a church, small little church we'd never been to before. Well, at this church, they did an altar call. They said, come to the front if you have any issues. My wife was the first one saying, Daniel, do you want to come? I said, okay, I'll go. So I go and I'm worshiping God, having my intimate moment with him, saying, God, I surrender my finances to you. I've forgiven my brother, but now I surrender. And it was about 10 minutes later after worship, the pastor comes up and prays for me and he gives me a word. He says, what the devil has stolen will have to be given back and it will be coming back to you very soon. And I was shocked. I was like, was my prayer on a megaphone? Like, how did my prayer get heard? But then I realized that was the Holy Spirit. I did what God wanted me to do. I forgave and I surrendered. Well, the vacation ends. I go back home and I get a call from my mom. And she says, Daniel, what is your routing and your checking number? And I said, mom, I don't have any money to give. And she's like, no, it's not for you to give. You have an aunt who heard about your story and wants to pay off all of your debt. And I said, no, 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 you don't understand. I just received a prophecy a week ago, and now you're telling me that this is gonna be cleared. And she says, yes, call. So I called her, I told her, I said, this is the testimony. I prayed, I wrestled, I surrendered, and I have to tell you, God is now using you to fulfill and carry out his plan and purpose. And that's when I said, God truly uses all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his will. So now, just now, my finances have been completely restored. My credit is now back up to 700 and the prophecy that was given to me is now fulfilled. I no longer walk in unforgiveness. I no longer have nightmares and I'm walking in total freedom under the Lord Jesus Christ.